Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Bus Tutorial. This is Bhaskar here. It's been a while that uh, I came up with a video. So in this video, um, I uh, I will I'm going to say a few things that I came across uh, while uh, you now working with uh, AWS and Angular applications. So basically, um, in my Angular application, I just want to have one uh, basic uh, login authentication. Uh, the challenge here is uh, since I am having all the backend services running in Lambda, that is uh, uh, service by you know uh, from uh, AWS. So <coughs> uh, right now you are seeing a handler function where I have defined the login handler function. So basically this will check this is uh, this will uh, this will be checking the you know, SQL query against a database. Uh, from a user input in the from the angular application so let me uh, you know quickly show you what I did in order to have a uh, you know redirection uh, to the respective page upon upon a piece of uh, execution of code so uh, the challenge was like you know uh, lambda does not support any external uh, redirections so for that um, i came up with uh, some solution this may not be the ultimate solution but i have made the you know um, thing that work so so in the in the angular application while uh, while it is calling the service that is defined in service file for the user yeah authentication auth user is a is a service that is where i'm calling an api of aws so what i'm going to do is uh, in the handler function of lambda here let me paste this <coughs> so this actually started working for me so basically what I'm doing here is oh sorry I need this one So um, I'm checking the values against the database and uh, only upon even uh, see according to the condition if it fails I mean if it comes to else part then it's a success for me um, yeah, let me take off this I returned as a false but in angular in my angular component I would like to subscribe to the result that is getting as a response from the lambda so basically upon execution from the AWS end I'm going to get some kind of data so if there is a data then I just want to redirect to the dashboard then if there is no such data then it should be in a login page okay let's see how it works and uh, let me run the application So basically uh, here I'm trying to show you guys that how you can handle uh, redirection from a lambda response. Uh, <coughs> let's see the result in few seconds. If you if you came across such situation and if you handled in any other way, let me know in the comment box so that. Uh, even I can uh, work with that 
if it's kind of better alternatives i believe there will be an alternative for this but for a time being i just uh, did this so that the application started working as expected so now if i go to login and uh, i'm going to let me get to the console here to see how it actually works so if i hit submit now as you can see i'm passing these two credential and it is returning the success and the boolean value as false uh, like as i have defined over there let us see what happens if i if i give you know the wrong credential So here you can see it, it throws uh, an error message which is in the handler uh, it is straight away going to the status code 500 upon failure uh, yet I have not uh, not yet handled it in a proper way we'll see uh, if I give the um, you know uh, correct email but if I give it the wrong password then we shall see what it returns yeah it says wrong credentials and yes and it is uh, uh, it is navigating or redirecting back again to login page okay guys this is all about the video that i just wanted to show you like how you can uh, uh, redirect let me know if you need help i mean uh, the the piece of code or something if you want to know about this in detail in the comment section thanks for watching